Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. We are going to continue our IT career question 2019. And this actually came up to me. It was not a question. I was actually on my community portal. And, uh, you know, this is something new that is coming out right now. And we are almost done. As you can see, almost all the content is completed. Over 2,000 plus videos are in this video task library. And you can search anything you want to. If it's available, it's just going to pop up like that. So easy, right? And it's going to be mobile friendly. It's going to be easy. If you have any issues, you will have ability to just send a report. So where this actually, this question came up like this. So I was in the job title certification. And here we finished our first two uh, titles which is the IT support technician and systems administration now this is where I want to talk about because when network engineer when people talk about network engineer and and just like if if you tell this uh, to a known IT professional hey this person is a network engineer you know that the, the normal way of thinking is this that this person knows a lot about networking and when I say networking specifically I'm talking about Cisco routers switching you know all that kind of stuff security in that side asa firewalls a lot of routing and stuff like that you know so it's a different field remember a lot of people come to my platform and say you know i want to become a network engineer so i'm like okay what do you mean by that oh uh, yes i want to become an it professional no okay that's you're saying two different things now what do you want to do okay is this your first career i'd ask them basically is this your first career uh, are you talking about the person who helps other people and stuff and um, that's helped us Somehow the help just, just you know, they just don't get this, uh, you know, like the title is not, I think, respected <laughs> enough. But that's not true. So I tell, I tell them like, hey, you know, this is where you need to start, you know. And if you want to become that networking engineer, then of course you can go to that route directly. If you know some internships, if you, if you know people, this is a little advanced career. It it does require theoretical learning before you get into a pro the, all these uh, hands-on you know uh, equipments you do need that uh, you can't really just go out and just uh, there's not too much uh, availability for you to go out and play around and do one thing with certain free products you know you may be able to do it with with a lot of products but it still requires some knowledge in a help desk you just learn you learn the skills and now you move up because you it's just kind of so open you know so that's where i want to just clear this confusion between these three titles and they're the important one we'll talk about this one later on but when we talk about this one specifically today and if you're interested in in talking about the other ones i think i have made a lot of videos which i can probably point to but maybe i'll make another one so i was making this and specifically i want to talk about this learning path that we have created and for what what are we talking about over here first of all we're saying that your requirement for this is going to be this area right here first we don't put a hard requirement in here but you will have this requirement we'll tell you that in the network fundamental even though it says fundamentals that doesn't mean that should be your first course in networking your first courses are still going to be that help desk side of it which is our courses are mostly designed towards systems administration so they're they're basic to advanced they're not just you sitting there somewhere taking calls you're actually becoming a real IT professional so you learn a lot of networking even before you get to the real networking so when a lot of people talk about network engineer they, they kind of like to show you just like a maybe in a graphical way we're talking about let's say this is a building okay this is the building right here and let's say we have three type of people one is going to be let's say active directory domain controller so this person is going to be a sysadmin system systems administrator he's going to be working on, on a lot of servers type of things you know a lot of servers type of skills of course it it is way more than that and that's what we will basically discuss but this guy usually don't work that much on routers or switches and stuff like that now of course people are going to start coming and commenting no no i do everything i but you're doing two jobs if you're going to a big area or nice healthy environment they usually have this separate they don't put two two things w w for one people this, this is why pe some people are making 80k even less than that of course and then you can go all the way up pretty big and then here the same way it doesn't make sense that you're going there you, you're going to be learning these two at the highest level you, you you're either good here and you know a lot of stuff over here or you're either good here and you know a lot of stuff over here it's just it, that's how it works and they work together
Now, the help this guy is basically working all over, but just very, like, very simple stuff, you know. But here, when you start, and that learning path that we have designed is basically kind of like a network engineer. Usually, they will give you titles like, let me show you. If you go to real world right now, let's, let's if you say want to find a job right now. They usually call you knock technician, okay? Or like, you know, network. They put something in there. And if they want something both because this is a smaller company and they want one person to be doing kind of like, uh, you know, two jobs, but it is, it is a small company. It is what it is kind of thing then. Then network systems engineer. Then you work in, every, you kind of like work in everything. When, it, when they put that engineer in there, right, it's kind of like, that's where you're going there. You know, network engineer, yes, you're going to know a lot about Cisco routers and stuff like that. As you can see, most of the, most of the NOC, oper they will put like operations in there, NOC operations center in there, analyst, NOC support technician in there. Now, why they, they w because I have like a lot of experience working with network engineers. At the same time, I have, I have my own experience, but still, I'm not at that level where I can say I am the network engineer right there are people that actually need i needed help from them hey you know we, we need to do this uh, we need to do to do this uh, isp line from here to there to there and that's something i need okay i need help but there was a lot of knock engineers that they would be working in a company and they're doing two things they're actually working in a company and they need to know about you know networking to radically of course to to know what they're working on layer one layer two and then they are also working on basically like a ticketing systems kind of thing. You know, they, they, anything, anything that just comes to them, they will work on it. Even if it's a, a you know, troubleshooting a, a computer with a IP address troubleshooting, TCP, DNS, all that kind of stuff. You know, some companies may be more towards just networking. Some companies will be using you as a help desk. So you, they, they basically, you know, will hire you with both because in the beginning, a lot of people want jobs. So they, you basically go for everything. And then later on, you find out that, okay, I need to now focus on just networking side and I need to move up in this career and you become a real engineer, right? That's how it is. So as you can see in, in NOC, in, in NOC certification, they specifically put about, they, they put something more about like networking, which is kind of like the Cisco certification, CCNA, and even, even in that level, maybe Network Plus. But I don't consider Network Plus to be, you know, a, a, a certification which you can call yourself a really network engineer or a NOC level one or NOC person, like a networking person. Trust me, you're not going to find anything cool in that. And, and you definitely will come across things that then you won't be able to resolve it through just Network Plus. And that is why when we are creating our learning path, it is not going to be just a simple lear uh, learning path where you just go finish the videos in Network Plus and that's it, done. That's not going to work for you. And that's our platform is totally not about that, you know. So we, we basically tell you in this in this learning path you need to learn about networking fundamentals so your focus is a lot on ip addresses how to how to what is IP, the differences between this and that layers and stuff like that then you move on to the network plus lab which is also again you kind of like enforce it but even more then what happened you get into the real stuff which is if you want to become that network engineer you need to do the cc the the cisco certification icnd1 which is right here and then icnd2 3.0 both are uh, current so basically this is what you need to learn a lot of stuff that you get into this certification then you get you get like you you're working on real stuff then then how are we making it interesting because we make videos on top of the the labs that you're getting these are the labs so sometimes like i said you can't really finish these labs if you're outside on traveling and you don't have time and these labs are 40 hours or 30 hours of labs and you're going to be doing a lot of work hands-on then for some people they like this and some people like video method because they, they would like to watch a video and then they basically perform labs over here so this is probably the best practical approach right here that we have now you may ask Okay, what about the theoretical side? Okay, I'm, I, I need to learn a little bit more about a specific, uh, you know, VLANs. Let's say VLAN. So, of course, in our course, a trainer will basically cover whatever is in this lab that they may not go too far with the theoretical because that course may not be able... We, we don't want to, like, make the lab become a real course. That's just going to lose its value and it's not going to be too practical, right? So then this is where your partner portal will will basically jump in. We don't have 
course available for each and every lab. But in this case, the Network Plus is available. The If you go to up a little bit in this one, we have a lot of this available. ICND2 available, ICND1 available in this, and so many different certification in Cisco that is available in this po partner portal that you can maybe sometimes, if you feel like something is still not covered in the labs, then I can go back to the the certification or maybe you may think okay i need a little bit more advanced labs i think i need i i did my own research and i feel like i need to to take more advanced lab in cisco area how about you know going to some other labs like that we we have available like troubleshooting ones so as you see you have a lot of flexibility to if you really want to become that network engineer the network network engineer then you can become a network engineer just from jobskillshare.org that's how it is and if you're just one of those people, you're going to go and just take the certification, watch some videos, just check, 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 A, B, C, D. Uh, I'm telling you, in this platform, I have more than 35,000 members right now. And I have a lot of certified, Cisco certified people. I have a lot of cert CompTIA certified people. And still, they're saying that they have no clue what is going on. If you're not going to do this kind of hands-on practice, then... It's going to be really hard for you to get into this specific area also because this specific area requires a lot of knowledge and i'm telling you this is not a uh, this is not something that you can get away uh, most of the time like you know you may be you may be in a situation where people are on the phone with you and you're doing things and that then there, this is where help this can get away systems administration can also get away because they they kind of they kind of have too much google uh, you know there's a lot of google friend available you know for that type of jobs but in this type of job it may be too specific and you may get stuck so you don't want that right this is why i wanted to share this video i think it's it got a little longer but you know i feel like it's important now next time somebody asks me hey what is the difference between a network engineer and a systems and uh, or help desk i want to become a help desk or i want that first job then i'm gonna say okay do you really want this then this is what you need all right thank you so much if you think i did something wrong or if i said something wrong uh please correct me and also put that in the comments so other people can learn from you and i both so thank you so much